In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this really awesome text animation right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects and you've got a brand new composition created, we're first just going to begin by creating a new text layer. So we'll go all the way up to the top bar, we'll see the T icon, we'll press that, that is the horizontal type tool. We'll select anywhere on your composition and just type out a word or a phrase or something of your choice here. Now you just want to go over to the character window and if you can't see the character window, then you want to make sure you go into window, go down to character and make sure that is selected. If it's not selected, you won't be able to find it. So make sure there is a tick on the left of character. From here, you can go into your character and you can change the font. You can change the size of this, the weight of this. You can uh, you can adjust the spacing, the kerning. You can make this bold. You can make this not bold, italic. There's so many settings here. So adjust your text and then we'll position this in the middle using the proportional grid. So we'll place that there. Now from here, we're just going to make a copy of that text layer. So we'll select that layer. We'll go Command C or Control C if you're on Windows and then Command V again, Control V if you're on Windows. But we're just going to press P on the keyboard to load position and we'll move the position of this up. Now from here, we'll go into the character window again and we're going to go over to these two boxes here. So you've got this and this is the fill color and then you've got this box underneath, which is the stroke color. So the stroke is the outline. So we're just going to go onto the fill. We don't want to change the color. We want to get rid of the fill. So we're going to select no fill color. Then we'll go down to this bottom layer. This is the stroke. If you can't see anything here, then it's because you need to increase the size of your stroke, which is this setting here. So increase this a little bit. So I'm going to set this to three. And I think that looks great. So from here, we're just going to go up to the mask tool up here. So you've got the rectangle tool and we're just going to draw a mask around the bottom half of this text. Now we're just going to copy this layer, this layer that is cut in half. So we'll go Command C, Command V again. We'll go to that bottom layer and we'll just pull the position of this down. So somewhere around here, like so. Then we'll go to that top layer. We'll press M on the keyboard to load the mask and we'll select inverted. Then we'll press P on the keyboard again and we'll just pull the position of this down. So as you can see, you've got this really cool text effect starting to take place. Of course, though, now we need to copy this half a few times and then we need to copy this half a few times. So what I'm going to do to make life a little bit easier for myself, I'm just going to rename this. So rename top and I'm going to rename this to bottom. And then I'm just going to copy the top, let's say another three times. So we'll go command C, V, V, V. We'll select all of those copied layers, press P on the keyboard to load position. And then individually, we're just going to move these up. So we'll move this one up, move this layer up a little, and then we'll move the top layer up to around there. And then we'll just do the same with the bottom as well. So we'll select the bottom, Command C, and then we'll go Command V, V, V. Select all of those copied layers, press P on the keyboard, and we'll move the position of all of these layers down like so. So this is what you should have, something like this. So now we're just going to go in and we're just going to change the size of the stroke on these layers. So we'll go to this second layer here. So we've got the second stroke layer here, the second top one. We'll go into the character window and we'll change the stroke down to two. And then we'll do the same on the second bottom layer. We'll change the stroke down to two. Then we'll go to the third one. So this one here, we'll change the stroke down to one. We'll do the same on this one, stroke down to one. Then we just change this down to one as well. So we we'll go one there, one on this top layer here. So now what I recommend doing is organizing your timeline so that you've got this layer at the top and then you've got this layer at the very bottom. So let's just drag this up. You've got top four, that's in the right place. Top three, top two, top one, that's correct. Then that should be the middle text under that. You've got bottom four, bottom three, bottom two, bottom one. That one should be underneath that layer. So as you can see, you've got this layer here is at the very top and this bottom layer here is at the very bottom of this. So we're going to go roughly a second in. So we'll go roughly 24 frames in. There we go. And then we're just going to slowly work our way back. So we'll select everything. We'll go command A, command shift and D. And that's going to add a cut to everything. And then we're just going to delete the first half of all of that. 
So just delete all of that. All of the layers, we'll just delete the bit before. So as you can see, we've got rid of this first section here. And now we're just going to move all of the layers over one frame at a time. So we want it to start with the top layer and then we want the bottom layer to come in at the end. So we'll start with the bottom layer there. So the bottom layer we won't move, we'll move the second bottom layer over one frame to the left. Same thing with the next layer, we'll go two frames. Next layer can be three frames. Next layer can be four frames. Next layer, five frames. You get the point here. Next layer, six frames. Next layer, seven frames. The next layer, eight frames. So if we play this back, you can see this is the effects that we have. And I think that looks really cool. So we'll leave that for a second and then we'll animate it back out again. We're going to cut the top layer. So we'll go Command Shift D and we'll delete the last part of that. We'll move over one frame, select the second to top layer, Command Shift and D, cut, move over one frame, select the next layer, Command Shift D, delete, move over again, next layer, Command Shift D, delete. And then as you can see, we've got down to this middle layer here. We don't want to get rid of that. So we're going to ignore that layer. We'll go one frame to the right, go to the next layer underneath that one. We'll go Command Shift D, delete. Move over one frame, next layer, Command Shift D, delete. Move over one frame, next layer, Command Shift D, and then one more time, Command Shift D. Like so. So let's play this back. And as you can see, we've got this really cool text effect now happening. So to make life easy for yourself, you can just select all of these individual layers, right click, select pre-compose, and you can rename this if you want, but you don't have to. Then we'll just find the beginning of that animation. So it was somewhere around here, delete the first part of that pre-comp and drag that back to the beginning. So as you can see, it's all been applied to this one individual layer. So this means you can now add some keyframe animation onto this to make this look even more awesome. So we'll go S on the keyboard to load scale, create a brand new keyframe at 100%, roughly a second in after that animation has taken place. We'll go back to the beginning and pull this down to 80. So this means it's going to animate from 80 over to 100, although that was a bit too fast. So I'm just going to increase the gap between those keyframes, play this back, and there you go. That looks really cool. And there you go, that is how you do this text animation effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it was helpful, and hopefully I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.